Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last fight week here in London. Finally got my hands on Luke Willis, who's been ignoring every single one of my Instagram messages. How are you, mate? Hello, lads. You're all right, Oscar. Um, yeah, you should get me number, lads. I told you, it's a fucking nightmare on that social media, but sorry about that, lads. As soon as you win an arena fight, you just got people. Is that, is that, has it been hard to deal with fame, Luke? Not the <laughs> fame. Social media fame, mate. Um, yeah, Joe, you know I've just been. Um, just being so focused, Lee, Lee and got his karaoke on there. Uh, um, yeah, just being so focused on the fight. So I've cut off all distractions and just switched on for the past 10 weeks. Yeah, really looking forward to, to, um, to Friday Night York Call. I do just want to, want to quickly recap the last time you was out in Liverpool because I know at the press conference end they were talking about how kind of your life and your boxing career was changing the last 12 months but I suppose a lot of it is down to that fight against Ryland Cholton you turned up on the night all right in your home city but in the away corner I remember you saying to me you were bought in to get beat and you essentially put on one of the best domestic performances of the year so just to recap on what was the best night of your career thank you for that um, yeah um, yeah it, that, that fight never changed that was just an opportunity that we took it changed when I went with Tony Bellew and he started to get me opportunities that I could. He started to open the doors that I couldn't even knock on. Never mind open myself. So then from Barcelona this time last year, we went from that to we took a calculated distance island chart and told everyone was going to school them, school them, and I told everyone I'm going to be British champion. I'm going to be British champion. But all eyes on Gavin Gwynn Friday night, and I, I, I beat Gavin Gwynn hands down. Yeah, I remember you saying to me you were going to do exactly what you. What you said you were going to do. I remember you saying all week, I'm going to box him, I'm going to box him. And it was one of them performances, does what it says on the tin. Yeah. People know you can box. People Boxed him. People know you can punch, people know I can box. I, I just stuck to a game plan that night and that just, just, just made, 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 made easy work of it. He cut me in the, the ninth round, seeing blood and started to pile the pressure on a little bit, making a, uh, an ugly fight. It, it what, but mate, I'm 10 times better this time. I'm even better, I've got more experience. And I've always confidence in, me, in, in my ability and the best me turns up Friday night beats the best Gavin Gwynn hands down and I, I feel great, feel strong, feel, I, feel, I just feel, I'm feeling like a British and Commonwealth champion mate. Just one more thing on, on last time out, did you notice kind of in the aftermath your name being banded about a little bit more? Because I suppose in boxing when you do get that one sort of standout win, then people start banding your name about for, for big fights and domestic titles. Yeah, yeah, more, more so because people thought I was going to get chinned, you know what I mean? So they were more like, well, yeah, yeah you actually you actually did what you said you were going to do. You, know I mean? you think people went, he's a bit better than I thought, actually? Yeah, probably, do you know what? I don't need other people to rate me or, or, or I don't, opinions are like assholes, mate, everyone's got one, so... I don't need, I don't need, I don't, I don't need other people's opinions. I, I, I trust me up myself, and I'm, mate, I'm just, I, 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 yeah, I'm grateful for all, for, for, for everything that's happened since after the fight, and look where I am now, British and Commonwealth title fight headline in your hall, and it's, this is only just that. This is just the start, mate. This is just the start. Just, just, just watch that tonight. Nice. You see another masterclass and the new British and Commonwealth champion. Tell me about how the call came about for this fight, because I know Lee said if they were looking to go to Wales, it would have been Craig Woodruff, and then as soon as it was your call, it was like, we've got to get an Englishman on the bill, get that sort of little rivalry going a little bit. Um, yeah, just tell me about how the call came about for this fight. Yeah, um, i seen the board called for me and Craig Woodruff for a final eliminator, and they called for Gavin Gwynn against uh, Ryan Walsh. Ryan Walsh took the Max Hughes fight, so Gavin Gwynn needed an opponent, and I got... I just Tony rang me and he said it's there. Well, that means I've never turned down a fight in my life, ever. And especially British Commonwealth. Were you just waiting for an opportunity yeah. like that, yeah? Yeah, send me the location, mate. I'll be there and I'll be ready. That's all you need, that's all I need. Let me know the dates. Let me know, let me know where, where I'm going. I'll see you there. Was it one of them, and I know they spoke again in the press conference about how you've been dreaming about becoming British champion. Was it one of them where as soon as you know what titles are on the line, you don't care who's in the way. It could have been Mike Tyson in the way. Just the titles are on the line and you're there. Yeah, but I'm not fighting the titles, I'm fighting Gavin Gwynn. Yeah. So they're, they're irrelevant at the minute. They, they won't be, they'll be relevant Friday night. 
you know what I mean? But all eyes on Gavin Gwynn for Friday night. I've got to be Gavin Gwynn and another step up. And I've been in deep waters, I'm looking on deep waters again. And I, as I said, it's going to be hard, but I'm going to make it look easy. How much of a step up is this for you, would you say? Um, yeah, every fight's a step up. You've got to say, you know, you're only as good as your last fight. So, I, I'm expecting the best Gavin Gwynn. And you should expect the best me, because I'm turning up Friday night, and I'm going to win. I know you can never predict other people's mindsets, but do you think, I mean, he would have watched that Ryland Trouble fight at the time, and he's probably watched it back since. Do you reckon he's looking at that and going, I know exactly what Luke is going to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's, it's, it's like, it's like I, I watch, I've watched a couple of his fights, and Styles make fights, mate. All just for courses, it's... He said he likes southpaws, mate. I'm your average southpaw. I'm, I'm something a little bit different, and he's going to realise that on Friday night. And I suppose one of them, you can watch someone as many times as you want, but it's one thing watching someone and another thing dealing with them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's one thing. You're looking from the outside and then actually being inside that ring with them, it's, it's completely different. And um, I've had good sparring for this camp. I've sparred kids heavier than me, come and put me under pressure. and. Mate, I, I'm just, uh, preparation is key, mate. Just in terms of if you were to lift those belts, how much would it mean to you? And I suppose everyone who supported you along the way, because boxing can be a lonely, lonely sport at times, but to walk out of that arena with a belt over one shoulder, a belt over the other, go back to Liverpool and put your trotters up, um, how good would that feel? The double champ does what the <laughs> fuck he wants, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'm expecting you, if you win, to get on the mic and say that, by the way. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, just, just... Years of hard work, heartbreak, blood, sweat, tears, everything, mate. I've, I've fucking, every nightmare that, 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 that you want, I've fucking probably had, you know what I mean? And I've overcome every test that's been sent my way. Got one more test to come. It's Gavin Gwynn. And I, I plan on passing that. Get knocked, Sparta! Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.